Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V with me, Get Daved. I have walked an extremely small distance, but enough for a fight since the end of the last video. Uh, these guys we take seriously ever since they killed my son. Cleons! It's a new recording session, so I've largely forgotten what I've been doing. Moved around a little bit off camera as I mentioned, as I was trying to start the episode and then... <laughs> Spent a bit of time fumbling around, but in the dignified way. All right. Thank you, Mr. Flanders. All right, we got hit with a fierce flame, but I don't think it's any big deal. I think... Therefore, I know. I know how to get out of this mess. Yeah, let's just see what happens. So yeah, because it's a new recording session, I got into a maze and then quit. Curse you, people coming to the door to visit. Who are also my family. A locomotive. How fascinating. I had a feeling I was at the end, but I guess not. What's the point of those switches? Does the locomotive give us, like, more raw power or something? Well, let's check it out. It appears to be a decoration, I guess? Oh, it's good to know that our hero's suffering is just palpable. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about. I wasn't sure how I was going to reverse direction, but... Whee! Oh goodness, it's out of control. For real, this is... This is like taking a leap of faith for the first time in Assassin's Creed. Good news, everyone! It was a one-way trip! And we're drowning. But the good kind? Maybe there's some sort of magical bubble? Yeah? Be gone. Well, let's pillage the place. Oh, come on. Am I unable to pillage Zenithia? I mean, what's the point in coming here? It was already a curiously designed castle. Looks like there's no residence to speak of. The whole shebang. We will get to explore a new chamber in here, though. I do remember that detail. Well. Okay. <laughs> All of our exploration attempts were futile. The place looks a little rougher than I remember it. So this is cool. This is the throne room from Dragon Quest IV where Master Dragon would sit, or the Zenith Dragon. But the hidden staircase behind a throne is also homage to Dragon Quest 1. Also, I think the only Dragon Quest game to really feature a relevant dragon. Well, I guess the Zenith dragon is kind of a, a good guy. But yeah, in the final area, it was like this huge area, but almost all of it was like kind of pointless and like 
circuitous, but if you searched behind the throne, you would find, like, the real way forward. A solitary silver orb. Alright, seems legit. Who knows where that leads. And a gold pedestal. Oh. So I'm not sure if this is another reference to Dragon Quest IV, but um, the legendary hero strikes down the bad guys, but before that happens, this like blast comes out of Nadiria and rips some holes through the clouds and maybe breached a hole in Zenithia. It hits really close to the castle. Well, have we ever seen a golden orb? Perhaps one that we got at up to 10 towers as a reward for driving out the ghosts and then was crushed when Pancrez was murdered. Recall Laja saw that we had a gold orb and was like, huh, not sure how you got this, but best be safe. And he smashed it right there. So we're in a pickle. Something is forming on screen two. He's doing a pretty good job with his meditation. Zenithia, I mean, I guess it's in the sky most of the time, but I think. You'd think they would have, like, patrols out there and stuff and be like, hey, some weird black crap is coming this way. Just. I'm not even trying to be, like, funny about this or anything. It's just. They seem unusually easy to ambush. So, indeed, the golden orb we were handed is the one they need. Well, I guess the game jogs your memory for you. I didn't have to. I don't... I'm under the impression that the orb was just sitting there for a long time. Because that grave was disturbed when Bianca was buried alive in it. Oh well, yeah, we had the orb at that time. Glad we get to relieve this. In the Famicom version, I forget if I mentioned this, uh, this scene is actually a bit more graphic. You actually see him burning, and it's more like he's set on fire rather than struck with a flaming ball.
There it goes. The dust appears to be all over the hero. Maybe we can just uh, condense him into a sphere and toss him on the pedestal. Wow, you uh, gave in to despair and then turned around very quickly. Hmm. All right, so we need to get to the realm of the fairies. <laughs> and we need to navigate through a forest to do it. So when we were a child, A, we could see them, and B, um, they were looking for us. Um, I'm trying to remember her name. I think it was just Honey. She was off looking for us, and so we were able to use the stairway. Oh, cool. And there it is. That town's been destroyed, and there's no reason for Honey to be looking for us, so... I don't mind... don't mean to use Sailor Talk, but we are in a bit of a pickle. So we need to find ourselves a forest where the fairies could live. I wish I remembered where were we were looking. So my first inclination is to go near a Wheelbrook. Well, actually, maybe a... Uh... He's not serious. <laughs> well, I mean, do we have any other lead also? Oh, it's just a coastline. Old get Dave's getting a little paranoid. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's heart wrenching. Yeah, that's how it happened. Well, I didn't think of this before. Oh, for good, for good old times. We'll smash one more. Uh, this guy's still selling amazing weapons, so. So, do we want Gudian to have a really good weapon, is the question of the day. Or he could have a Zombie's Bane, which is attack power 80. Pretty good. And how economical. Am I right? We'll put it off for now. I won't try scrounging up the money. I just wanted to double check he could use it. There's a really tough boss that's... I won't use the word optional, but when you fight him is kind of up to you. I've been talking about Bjorn before. Yes, he's named Bjorn. Anyway, there's a chance we might want Gudian to draw in just because of his uh, superior immunities. What about back here? I thought maybe because it's near up to 10 towers. Oh, we might need to... Oh no, how am I going to beat these guys? With style. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, you. 
for sure you. But it would have been fun to recruit this guy much earlier in the game. Oh, a drackey named Vlad. That's just delightful. Okay, over yonder, things aren't quite as explored. Looking for some sort of noteworthy tree. The problem with this fairyland concept... You know, maybe I am going to check one place. I didn't try using the Spring Blossom. Because people can't see it, so we can't talk to people in the world to get leads, which is normally what you do in a Dragon Quest game. It used to actually be even more so. Where you would have to, like, put pieces of evidence together across different uh, continents and cities. Yeah. Seems like maybe they want us to go here. Oh, uh, which abbey? I can only assume above it all. No, 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 no. It's much more structurally sound. Okay, so we've got our lead. See, this is the fairy music. I don't think this is going to work, but we might as well try. Alright then. To Above It All Abbey. Uh, Fortune is pretty close, I think. That's our best bet. Also, I hope it hasn't been sacked. I didn't go back to visit it, I don't think. We'll just walk. We won't bother with the magic carpet. <laughs> Are you... I respect your decision. <sighs> okay, we will visit the weird shop? Shop store? I was undecided on which to say. Don't worry, I'm back, back on my game. It's gonna be okay. Maybe he's gonna be selling something weird again. Slime Curio. Okay, now now you've got me interested. I have no idea what this is about. I just don't have the money, though. Alright, in order. Bed. Commerce. Nunnery. And episode. It's gonna be great. That was a very talkative guy. I wish I could have enjoyed our chatter a bit more. Well, you have a good day, sir. I always imagine when you sell something way better than what they've got for sale, like the merchant's mind being blown. That would be a bad example, but like an ionosphere, what would it do to the economy in this town to just all of a sudden have... I don't know, it'd be like taking a machine gun to, like, the Roman Empire. Oh, cool. I'm glad that happened. Well. Fiddle dee dee. I guess we will ignore that plan. There's no way I'm using the nightlight. game's conspiring against me. <laughs> yes. Do I have the right Abby? What about fairies? Nope. 
Is it gonna be the boss? Um, <laughs> that's pretty much how it happened. And escaped slavery together. Oh, I wonder if she was a child when we were last here. East of Monstro Ferrado. Wow, that's really on the nose. <laughs> I was not expecting that to work out quite so well. Yes. Miss Nera Briscoletti, who will probably go visit soon. I hope she married that uh, guy who loved her. Or, you know, someone else nice. Alright, well, uh... Monstro Ferrado it is, and we'll try looking into that slime curio, too. Next time!